Hi, welcome to the data tech. So today I'm going to show you an interesting SQL problem. Uh, this, this is asked in companies like Walmart and Amazon. So let's get into the problems. So you have employee table where each employee can have a manager, of course. So every employee can have a manager and the employee can report to one another employee. That means you as an employee, you are reporting to one another employee and he could be a manager, right? So for end of day for the company, you both are an employee, right? and include possibly themselves self-reporting. Maybe your manager doesn't have any manager for him. So he's like, uh, do a self-reporting. So certain cases are there in the companies. So now what is the thing that you have to find here is, you need to find all the managers who have at least seven direct reports under them. That's the problem statement. Now I am Gautam and I am a manager and I have 10 reports under me, then my name should come. So Gautam as an employee, I have only three reports, then my name should not come because my mine is not like, I don't have uh, more than seven or equal to seven people reporting to me. So the condition is at least seven direct. That means greater than or equal to. Okay. So fine. Now let's see the data. So this is the data of the employee table. So I have employee ID, employee name, manager ID. So one is the employee ID for allies and the manager ID for that particular employee is three. That means... This manager ID is nothing but the employee ID of the manager. Okay. So now let me just explain. Just give me a second. Let me just take my pen. Okay. So if you see this manager ID is nothing but the employee ID of the manager. Now if you take for alias, 3 is the manager ID. Now what is the name of this 3 to the equivalent employee ID is Charlie. So that means Charlie is manager for alias. Now let's take Bob. Okay. It's again three. So that means Charlie is manager for both allies and Bob. So is there any other three occurrence? No. That means three occurred only two times. Okay. Next. If you take Charlie, right? The employee ID, the manager ID is four and the equivalent employee ID is David. So now if you take David manager ID is five and that means Eve. Just a second. Okay, Eve. So Eve is manager for David. Then who is manager for Eve? It's again five. That means self-reporting. So Eve is manager for himself, self-reporting. Right. Now how many four we have occurrence? One, two and three. So four occurred three times. That means four. Who is four? David has like three reporters and three, which is Charlie has two reporters. So we cannot include these managers in our output because they are, they don't have at least seven reports to them. Now let's take five. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that means five occurred ten times and that means five. Who is five? Eve has ten reports under him, including himself. Right? So that means our output should be Eve equal to 10. So Eve 10, this is, this should be my output. Okay. So just a second, let me delete this. Fine. Now let's just get into the query bar. Okay. So let me give my magic command SQL. Okay. Select first, let me frame the join part. So from employees, I give EMP as an allies name and then join employees again but E. Now the condition is so EMP dot manager ID equal to E dot employee ID. So this is the join condition right. So now in the select I will be giving E dot employee name as manager name let me give an alias manager name comma count of emp okay count of emp dot employee underscore id as report underscore count okay so i'm just getting the count of employee id and then employee name but if you see here i'm using count for one column and then in the select, there is one non-count, there is non-aggregated column and that means you will be getting an error if I run this because you need group by for the non-aggregated column. So that means group by, you have to add e.employee name. 
so the group by should happen based on the employee name for the employee id count which you are getting now if you run this right you will be seeing charlie 2 david 3 eve 10 that means if you take this particular employee id so what what the condition join condition is manager id equal to employee id so whatever the manager id uh, that employee id has only that will come that means 3 4 and 5 will come right so you'll be getting 3 4 and 5 only so now you are getting the count of this 3 4 and 5 and then based on that you are aggregating the employee name that means you are so now you are getting the count of this employee id and the employer name and then you are grouping with the employee name that means so how many occurrence of three two so who is three charlie so that means charlie two and how many occurrence of four which we have already seen right so three occurrence of four who is four david so david is three times right so four occurred three times so three now eve so five occurred ten times so who is five eve is five so eve 10 times but what is the final output they asked us is we need to get only the manager name which has at least seven reports that means still you have to add some more thing in the query having having count of e dot sorry emp emp dot employee underscore id greater than or equal to seven okay now if i run this i will be getting eve 10 so this is the final thing they have asked us right so now we have learned how to do a self join and then group by and then the having and we used count aggregation as part of it so and that's all guys and i am there to teach you like this and if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues and i will be teaching a lot of sql and data engineering related stuff in my channel please go and have a look thanks for watching